News for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, musers? John with Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code, and welcome to the weekly update for the week of March 12th through March 18th. Uh, so this week I've worked on a few things. So I released the construction template and I've also released the parallax scrolling widget. So I'll go ahead and showcase the construction template and I'll also showcase how to use the parallax scrolling widget. So I'll go ahead and head over to museforyoushop.com. So I'll open up Google Chrome here and I'll just go to museforyoushop.com. Okay, and here you can click subscribe today. And here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for 39 a year. So I'll scroll down here. Here we have the construction template. Uh, here you can click add to cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for 39 a year. Uh, so with this template, um, here are the features included, a few images and the preview pages. Uh, so this template has a preview with video and a preview with just images. So I'll go ahead and showcase the preview with video. And it's a really great template if you're a construction company or you're building a site for a construction company. Uh, so as we can see here, it starts off with video. This is the homepage and the brand is called Percept. Um, so that's the, the name of the brand there, but all of it is replaceable. You can add your own uh, text, your own logo and everything like that. So we have this nice video here in the beginning. Uh, we have three main pages, which is home, services and about our company. So I'll click on services. Um, and this template is fully responsive and I'll showcase it at sizzy.co. Uh, we have some nice animation here with services, uh, another video just kind of showing kind of some smoke there um, or yeah, just from the buildings. And I'll scroll down. We're using the simple and sweet on scroll animations widget to have some nice animation. Uh, we have some video here as well of a crane or kind of some construction there. And we have a few other images as well. So it's laid out really nice as well. Um, it is fully responsive. So the site changes across different breakpoints. Uh, and we'll check it out in a second in sizzy.co. And we have about our company, which is another page. And here we're using the uh, zoom and pan uh, slideshow widget. So we have this nice effect there. Again, the simple and sweet on scroll animations widget. And we have this really cool video here at the left as well. And this is using the complete video widget. And then we have the contact here uh, as well. All right, and a nice footer. Okay, and again, request consultation. Um, you can click consult, consult, and it'll bring you to uh, the contact form here. So if I click on latest projects, we also have a projects page. So I can click here on the first project on learn more, and it'll bring us to this project page. So you can showcase a project in a really nice way. Uh, here we're using the zoom and pan hover uh, zoom and pan slideshow widget and here we're using the responsive lightbox gallery widget as well so you can go through and view images of the project all right and it looks really nice on mobile as well um, here's more information all the text all the images are customizable um, you can change all the images in the text and it looks good so you can add more information here you can replace all the images and perfect so that's the uh, the construction template with video and I'll go back to shop and then I'll preview just with images. Um, here's just the image, uh, same thing, except there's no video on the page. Um, so it's just the image. So here there'd norm normally be a video and at the top as well. Uh, but as we can see, they're just static images and it looks good. It just depends what you're going for. Um, if you don't really have video, you can just use um, images. So this would usually be a video and that's just an image there. All right, okay, let me go to the latest project. Yeah, latest projects. And we'll go to the first project page. All right, looks good. So that's the construction template. I will make another video tutorial kind of uh, showcasing it more in detail and showcasing it, showcasing it in Adobe Muse. Uh, the project page can be duplicated uh, if you had multiple projects and just you know change the name change the images um, yeah and change all the images here and the images in the responsive lightbox gallery all right so i'll go back to the shop um, i'll go to sizzy.co just to showcase the responsiveness of the template 
and uh, Sizzy.co is just a really great website to view your website on different width devices and you can just copy and paste the link in there um, and looks good yeah so for the mobile the tablet and mobile menu we're using the side slide menu widget and you can just go through and look through the site on different width devices perfect and we're using the preloader widget as well to go in uh, between pages so we see that the logo uh, shows up between pages okay so yeah we have the uh, iPhone 4, iPhone 5, iPhone 6, iPhone 7 Plus, the iPad Air, the Nexus 6P, Galaxy S4, and the Nexus 7. So you can view your site on all the different width devices. All right, perfect. Yeah, so I can go to another page, just copy the link, paste it right up here in Sizzy, and there we go, looks good. So it's a good way to see yeah, how the site will look on different width devices. Perfect. All right, so that is Sizzy.co and checking out the responsiveness of the template across the different width devices. All right, so I'll go back to, uh, to the widget page, which is right here. And I'll just read a few of the features, features included. Um, it's fluid with design. It's responsive for desktop, tablet, and mobile. There's a maximum of six breakpoints per page. The pages are organized within the layers panel. There are three main pages, home, services, about our company, and there's one subpage, sample project details. There's two master pages. Uh, it's fully customizable. The assets are included and it's for Adobe Muse 2018 and later. And here are the widgets used in the template. So we have the Muse Motion widget, the Simple and Sweet On-Scroll Animations widget, the Zoom and Pan Slideshow widget, the Animator widget, the Responsive Lightbox Gallery widget, the browser centering widget, the complete video widget, the responsive full screen video widget, the preloader widget, and the side slide menu widget. Uh, so those are the widgets used in the template. Here we have the community section if you had any questions about the template and a few images of the template as well. All right, so this template can be found at museforyoushop.com and I will be releasing a video tutorial to go more in depth and showcase the template within Adobe Muse. Uh, so that's the first thing for the weekly update. The second thing is uh, I released the parallax scrolling widget, so it's right here. Um, and here you can click add to cart to purchase individually, or again, you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for 39 a year. Uh, so this is a really great widget to change the scroll speed of elements on your page uh, to create this really cool parallax scrolling effect. So as you scroll, uh, the elements are scrolling at different speeds. Perfect. All right, so I'll just read the features included and then I'll showcase how to use within Adobe Muse. So here are the features included. You can set the scroll speed of an element to be slower or faster. You can apply a scroll speed to multiple elements on the site. It works with mouse wheel and touch devices and you can disable the parallax scrolling at a specific breakpoint. Okay, and here we have the community section if you had any questions about the widget uh, right here and uh, an image of the widget options. All right, so that is the parallax scrolling widget and I'll quickly showcase how to use in Adobe Muse. So here I, I have a blank site and the first thing I'm gonna do is create a few elements. So I'll just select the ellipse tool here on the left to create an ellipse and I'm just gonna create a few circles and just fill the circles with a few colors. I'll just copy that, paste, and we'll add another one right in there. I'll do four. And this is just to showcase the, the scroll speed of these elements. Uh, you can use anything. You can fill these rectangles with images um, and things like that. I'll zoom out a little bit and I'll bring them down just like this. Okay, so there I have the four different elements and it looks good. So after I have the elements created, I'm gonna go to the library panel here to the right and if you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library or library. <laughs> All right, and I'll make this a little bit larger and I'll just type in parallax scrolling. So the first thing you wanna do, we have two widgets here. We have the add first parallax scrolling and then we have the parallax scrolling widget. So you wanna click, hold and drag and place this at the top of your Adobe Muse website before beginning. So I'll just click, hold and drag, place it right in there and I'll place it at the top here. And then I'll bring in the parallax scrolling widget. So I'll click hold and drag, place it right in there. Okay, so here we have the graphic style name 
and this is the graphic style name we'll want to apply to the element to change the scroll speed. And then we have the speed section. Uh, so zero is the default scroll speed. Anything greater than zero will make the element scroll faster. Anything less than zero will make the element scroll slower. And if you did want to disable the scroll speed at a specific breakpoint, uh, you could disable when the breakpoint is less than that specific breakpoint. If you leave this at zero, it will uh, be enabled for all breakpoints. But if I were to enter in, let's say 480, uh, once the browser size is less than 480 pixels, yeah, 480 pixels, the scroll speed will be disabled and it'll just scroll like normal. Um, I want to enable it for all breakpoints, so I'll enter in zero. And now I'll apply the scroll one graphic style name to the first element here. So I'll select the first element and I'll go to the graphic styles panel here to the right. And if you don't see the graphic styles panel, you can go to window and click on graphic styles. Okay, so I'll select it and I'll create a new graphic style by clicking on this icon here that looks like a piece of paper with a folded corner in the bottom left. So I'll click there and it creates a new graphic style called style. I'll double click and it opens the graphic style options dialog box. And here I'll type in scroll one because that's the graphic style name that is in the widget here. So it's scroll one. Um, so now whatever scroll speed I apply here will be applied to that element. So let's say I did something really fast like 12. Um, we're gonna see that first element scroll really fast. So I'll go to preview page and browser or file preview page and browser and I scroll and we notice that first element is scrolling much faster than the other three elements. All right, so I'll just assign or copy and paste this widget and change the graphic style name. I'll say scroll two and I'll change the speed. So I'll just do some random speeds. I'll say scroll three and let's do negative four to make it slower. And then I'll paste one more time and I'll do scroll four and I'll say uh, two, scroll speed of two, okay? And then I'll apply those graphic style names to these elements. So I'll say scroll two for this one. I'll select this third element. I'll say scroll three. I'll select this fourth one and I'll say scroll four. Okay, and I'll go to file, preview page and browser. Now when I scroll, we can see those elements have different scroll speeds. Okay, so it creates this interesting parallax scrolling effect. All right, looks good. I can scroll with the mouse wheel. On touch devices, when you swipe up to scroll, um, the elements will have that scroll speed and it'll, it'll have that really interesting parallax scrolling effect. All right, um, you can fill these rectangles with an image. So if I go to fill, so if I select the, um, the element and I go to fill, add image, um, I can select any image here. Um, so they're circles, so it's gonna be circles filled with an image. Um, I'll go to fill and add image, scale to fill, add image, scale to fill, and add image, and we'll do one more. Okay, and I'm just going to remove the background color from all of these. So I'll select the none swatch with all of them selected. So there's no background color to these images. So I'll preview and I'll scroll. So we have those circles with the different images. You could add kind of like a stroke to these circles for an interesting kind of effect. And I'm just playing around with Muse right now, but um, yeah, you can apply it to anything. So you can apply it to rectangles filled with an image or text as well uh, to create that really interesting parallax scrolling effect. All right, so that's it for the parallax scrolling widget. You place the ad first at the top uh, then you place the parallax scrolling widget. Uh, you can change the graphic style name, then assign the graphic style name to the element and change the scroll speed here. And you can disable it at a specific breakpoint. Um, so I'll showcase that real quick. If I were to say 480 here, I'll enter in 480 here in the, in the breakpoint section. And I'll just change it real quick for all of these. Um, so I'll just change the breakpoint to 480 just to showcase um, what would happen if the effect was disabled at the 480 breakpoint. So I'm entering 480 for each and I'll preview. And if the page loads at a 480 or less breakpoint, 
and I scroll, we can see that it just scrolls normally with the site. Um, it's getting smaller because they're set to responsive width. So I'll just say responsive width and height here within the resize option. I'll preview again. So there we go. Uh, we can see it doesn't scroll when it loads at a breakpoint that's 480 or less. But if I change the browser size and I scroll, we can see it works really well. So that's it for this weekly update. Again, it was the construction template and the parallax scrolling widget. Uh, so both of these can be found at museforyoushop.com. So that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. News for you, awesome websites without code.